All right, I'm back in my studio. Um, I had to turn the heat on. It wasn't really cold, but it was just cool enough to make it hard to work on the clay because the clay needs to be a little softer and uh, the heat in the studio uh, will help do that. And uh, in the summertime, I have no problem, but in the wintertime or the fall like it is right now, and uh, the temperature is in the 50s, but it was down in the 20s last night, so the temperature tends to keep cold in the studio well into the day. And uh, so I just uh, have to turn on that stupid heater, which makes more noise than I'd like, but there's nothing I can do about it the nature of the place that I'm renting. Anyway, I'm going to continue on the hair and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Alright, I'm happy with uh, the flowing effect of the hair on this side and on this side. I didn't know how I'd make that transition between the long hair in the back and the little shorter hair in the front, but I think it worked out just fine. And it doesn't look uh, odd, it looks uh, natural. Now it's just a matter of getting all the back area of the hair uh, working out and uh, that's going to be my challenge today to do that okay I'm going to use my wire tool first what I got her hair doing is going right behind her shawl it makes sense that if she takes or is putting the shawl over her shoulders and stops she's caught the hair uh, in it and uh, it goes behind the uh, shawl I'm just reducing the thickness of uh, this hair that's blowing off the side here because it is a little thick. Oop. Exposing the armature. 
underneath. Can't have that. I've talked about these glyptic tools that I get from Sculpture Depot, but I've never shown how I can change the uh, loop in the uh, tool. I have a little wrench that comes, uh, uh, Allen wrench, which comes with the uh, handle, and uh, you put it in the Allen screw, and you just loosen it, Instead of buying a whole new tool, you just change out the uh, the wire. And say I want to take the loop out of this handle. There are two wire loops on each side on this, uh, or each end of this uh, handle. And so I want to change out the uh, loop. So I've got two loops that's about the same. You can remove the uh, loop further, I mean. And I'm going to take uh, the loop that I removed and replace it. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. And I just do that and we got a loop installed and you don't have to buy another handle which uh, these can be very expensive by the way I went to the hardware store and got me a um, a little container like this I think this is for fly tying putting your hooks in or something maybe at a fly shop I don't know I can't remember exactly where I bought this it's been a few years but it's uh, real handy for uh, putting your parts in that you need to preserve and keep in one place. I've got another loop here and uh, another loop here. So I got different shaped loops that I can exchange on uh, handles that I've got. I'm going to take this one loop that I changed Okay, I just continue on the uh, hair here. Yes, to be a sculptor of humans and maybe history, you sort of have to be a hairdresser as well. You have to be an engineer for balance and uh, an anatomist for form, a dress designer for clothes. I'm going to uh, use Ronsonol to, again, get rid of all the rough areas and smooth out everything.
you know, one of the things you want to try to do is to make a sculpture look good from every angle. And I think I've accomplished that with this piece. I mean, it looks good to me anyway, from every angle. It's just, it just really does work. All right, that's going to be it. Good night, everybody, and uh, I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.